to be a litigatious community, but all the litigation from the community was done and dusted within a couple of years. What has dragged this out is litigation from one particular entity um, that is enormously resourced and um, drags out every piece of planning we do, whether it's a unitary plan um, or this district plan, and that is the um, Spencer um, family. But the, whether it's them initiating this litigation or their lawyers who are onto a really good thing, it means that this council also has to spend money to match that, which is disappointing, but is a fact of life. So if, if Waiheke planning takes a long time, it's not because of the Waiheke community, it's because of one particular land-owning entity. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. No, members are absolutely permitted to say their word, and the member has. It's moved, it's seconded. Any other speakers on that item? There being none, I'll put it. All those in favour say aye. 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 Contrary no, declare that carried. We'll now go to... Tent and um, Zhao, yours. This is an update. No, no, that was yours. We're now on no. Tony. Sorry, Tony. Tony Reedy on 10. And it's on page 41, members. It's four slides. Yeah. Four slides to have a look at. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and good afternoon, members. And we've got beer, members, we've got beer quorum, so if we can just stay with us, uh, stay with the meeting, please. Yep. I'll just take you through it um, very quickly. So the purpose of the item is to make additional parts of the unitary plan operative. Since we came to you last in October, on the 10th of October, we've had 22 additional appeals have been resolved, or resolved in part, so we want to make those parts of the plan um, operative. Um, we are awaiting, and we're continuing to make good progress, we're awaiting um, a number of decisions from the court on several appeals, and they are very imminent. Um, the appeals that have been resolved are in attachment A. I just want to make one um, correction there. There's the two appeals by Viaduct Harbour Holdings. We had anticipated them being um, resolved, but the decisions haven't come out yet. They were actually heard in July of last year. So if we can take, make those unbolded or, and remove them from the list of appeals that have been resolved, that's just one quick change. Okay. Um, we've prepared... I've just prepared a brief summary in terms of the numbers and um, Mr Chairman asked for some comment on significant appeals that have been resolved during that period and those that are um, still remain outstanding. So you'll see, I'll just quickly take you through the slides. First slide is um, an, an up-to-date as of yesterday in terms of the numbers. So we're down to the final 28 appeals remaining. Out of the 113, we've had five additional appeals added as a result of um, referrals from the High Court back to the Environment Court. Second slide on page two um, just outlines some of the significant appeals that have been resolved since we last came to you in October. They include the Transpower. I'll quickly run through them, but if you want a bit more detail, just stop me. Transpower, um, a number of companies that um, had appeals relating to car parking requirements in centres. Page three, the Ryman Healthcare and Retirement Villages relating to residential provisions, particularly integrated residential developments. Mahia Properties, which dealt with the alternative height in relation to boundary appeal. And Housing New Zealand, which again related to integrated residential developments, the dwelling threshold and fence height and walls. And you'll notice a lot of the appeals have been settled by consent. We want to um, just a, a big acknowledgement to the work that the delegated councillors and IMSB members have done in resolving these appeals. So we've been in control of the um, outcomes by reaching consent with the appellants. We haven't left it all entirely in the Environment Court or High Court's hands. So thank you um, to those members. Um, then significant, finally, a few other appeals resolved since October. Waitakere Ranges, that's actually been, the High Court appeal's been resolved, but it's been pushed down to the Environment Court. Um, University of Auckland appeal, that was GMOs, excluding, or just making it clear that medical vaccines were excluded. Again, um, Transpower, the National Grid Corridor Overlay, the width of that. And Mr. Balajano Netis, which ha who had an uh, appeal affecting a large part of Takapuna, that's now been resolved as well. And in terms of, finally, the significant, significant appeals outstanding include 
a bunch of appellants dealing with rural subdivision provisions, and that's been heard in March this year, so all our evidence is prepared and we're ready to go. Okura Holdings Limited, um, the Okura Zoning and RUB, and that's, we're awaiting a decision from the Environment Court. And Zell Family Trust, that's the RUB at Puanui, again, we're waiting for a decision. These were heard late last year. And finally, um, Housing New Zealand Corporation, that's dealing with heritage and special character, and that's been, um, that's gone to the High Court now, and we're waiting for a date to be set. So we've made good progress. Thank you, Tony. Look, um, your team, your Plans and Places team uh, under John have done remarkably well. The planning consultants, externals, and the, our legal consultants as well have done remarkable work to get this far. Uh, it's moved by Member Henare. Oh. Seconded. Actually, I was going to move it. Uh, Member Henare has signalled to me before. Yeah. Um, so thank you. And seconded, Councillor Hulse. Comment? I just wanted to acknowledge the staff. Some of these are huge, huge having issues, yeah. sort of tracked them through over the last few years. It's a sterling effort and sorry that it has been right at the tail end of the meeting but I think it's an extraordinary job. Please pass Thanks, we'll pass it John and I'll pass it on to the staff. Yeah. Absolutely, mm. please. Thank you. Thank you. All those in favour say aye. aye. Contrary no, declare that carried. Aye.